Welcome back to another episode of Meet the Villagers. Today we'll be meeting the ninja bunny known as Genji. Now Genji is a jock villager with the fitness hobby. So watch out for his explosive training regimes and perhaps his shadow clone jutsu. His house exterior has the most gorgeous Ghibli vibe with cherry wood and cobblestone, even a lantern that glows outside the ornate window at night. His house interior continues with the Japanese thematic, with a mossy floor and bonsai plants and screens. This results in a traditional Zen garden aesthetic. When you meet Genji, he'll be wearing a green shirt with misty clouds. He will also greet you with the catchphrase mochi, which refers to a Japanese rice cake, perhaps alluding to his appearance. But I actually prefer his old catchphrase, which is otaku, makes a lot more sense. Now when you hear the name Genji, you might be inclined to think that someone needs healing. I need healing. But actually, it's a reference to the tale of Genji, which is considered to be the world's first novel. This novel is focused around the life and love of Hikaru Genji, the son of an emperor, in which Genji is a very questionable protagonist. It is quite political in nature, which is why Genji's goal in Animal Crossing is to be a politician, and probably why his favourite song is King KK. But, despite how canonical it is, I still like to think of Genji as our cute little rice cake looking, anime loving otaku training to be his favorite character. Okay, 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 so he wasn't so great in the novels. Okay, but how will he get on with your villagers? Well, remember, he doesn't just have the jock personality, he also has the fitness hobby, so he is going to be quite lively and competitive. Though this won't win him points with lazy and snooty villagers, peppy, cranky, and even sisterly villagers are inspired by his Vega and will have positive interactions with him. One thing to note about jock villagers is they never really stop talking about working out. Because of this, I personally try to limit my town to one, but let's be honest here. Snake is the Hanzo to our Genji, without the family feud of course. Alright, so what does he do then? You'll find him doing exercise, lifting weights, doing morning yoga in the plaza, and generally being quite a brotherly bunny. Call me cliche, but I'd like to continue complimenting his otaku style by giving him ninja clothes, samurai armor, maybe even a kimono. To me, the dark gradients on his hands, feet, and head are a bit like ninja garments. Now there's a lot you can do with a house like Genji's. There are some people that create mini Japans, Zen gardens, shrines, or even Ghibli recreations like Spirited Away. However, I was just satisfied placing some black roses near his roof, putting some punching bags outside to complement his ninja jock routine, and maybe some cherry blossom lanterns to bring out the otaku. Genji has a real depth of character for a jock villager, and you don't have to be an otaku to appreciate it. His house and character design is enough on its own. So hey, if you need a jock and you're a fan of cute bunny ninjas with a touch of Japan, then give Genji some healing, because trust me, he probably needs it. I need healing. The pleasure was mine today, Blossoms. And if you're not yet in bloom, then why not subscribe and join me in my Animal Crossing adventures and wholesome games. Train hard, Blossoms, and I'll see you in our next tale.